is, I believe every, every student connects to one particular group. And in my case, that is Katie Jones. So when I, my home school was this, and it was really, really good the first year. The first was pretty okay. But then I began to feel like I was, in a sense, in an academic way. I was in classes where I was interested and passionate about what we're talking about, because social studies is my passion. But I felt like I wasn't talking to my teachers. I felt like they were talking down to me. I felt like they weren't teaching me for the sake of making sure that I understood and that I was interested in the information. I felt like they were talking to me because I was a number on their roster that they had to teach. And that was really hard because I was interested. I wanted to ask questions, but there were certain questions that I would ask that either required too long of explanation, or maybe they just didn't know the answer. So they didn't want to And then they came here. Um, I came here because the first day of my I went to East, I got four classes in, and I ended up in my counselor's, locked inside it, locked inside my counselor's room refusing to come out. And that was because they went through a massive amount of students, they ended up taking in so many more students than they had the before. And my counselor got committed to that. And I was very scared to come here because for years and years and years, I was told that Shabbat was not a school where kids went to line, it was a school where kids went to pass. It was a school for the kids that didn't want to go to school. It was a school for the kids who just didn't feel like doing anything. And when I came here, that's what I thought it was going to be like. But it wasn't. Um, so this was the first school where they weren't the classic classes where you got a real book. They were the classes where the, te where the teacher would talk to you, not down to you. And that's why I especially bonded to Katie Jones, because she was the teacher where I could go when I either had a question, or I found something interesting, or I just needed some place to go, and she would talk to me for about anything I wanted. And that was really, really good. And because I got more comfortable, I was able to go into opportunities and delve into conversations that before I was never able to. I was able to go into the ethics and policy and the issue maker and helps fund. And that was probably one of the best academic um, challenges that I took on. I did ethics and policy, I did presentations, and I have kept every single one of my presentations presentations as a point of five, which I feel like this school is a point of five for me. And when I say I am an alumni of Shabbat City High School, I don't say that with any kind of thing. I say that as I am proof that this school does teach. And it does teach you leaps and bounds that traditional schools often miss. And for that I am very grateful. For ever grateful for Katie Jones for taking the time and putting the effort into me. I felt ever grateful for the teachers for taking the time and effort into every single one of the students. And I especially put a big thank you to my family over there in that little corner for essentially kicking my butt and telling me, nope, you're going to go to school, you're going to do this. That senioritis is not going to get in. But,